Alright. Let's talk a bit about the build. Got our Ash with some casting speed shards and energy maximum. This is the ranged build that I use. So we got precision for the pistol damage. Energize for some energy. Holster and vigorous swap adding that juicy damage. Smoke shadow adding some crit. And then it's just some strength, energy max, and all the good stuff to make it comfortable. You know, the Zara's Whisper. And the thing is, talking about a build, I don't think there is a, really a right or wrong build to make. I just think that there is a right build for you. And for me, this is it. I wouldn't change a thing. It's the build that I'm comfortable using and the one that kills level cap. So for me, it's good. The Kuvacom was my primer. Here I have a ribbon. And it's a pretty... One of my best primers. Other than the... Mutalis Cernus. Uh, depending on the weapon that I'm going to use, I use either the, the Mutalis Cernus or the Kuvacom. Has a good amount of stats. We got the Magnetic Viral Heat. IPS. And for the Arcane, I like to use Exhilarate. Even though I probably didn't need it for the, the entire run. I use it a few times to get some energy. And uh, even my uh, abilities as Ash, they don't cost a lot. So that was pretty good. I'm using Silent Battery here because of the... To get, the, get it muffled, the noise. And that is, was one of the first runs that I actually didn't use a silencer mod on my secondary. These are the perks. For this time, I chose to go with Lethal Momentum for the projectile speed, which is, I think it's really good. The build is this. This is even the build I showed you guys on the, the first tanks from video, if I'm not wrong. I don't even know... Don't even remember actually if I made a second video on the Angstrom after they fixed the projectile. But the projectile is much better now than it, than what it was at release. Initially, I wanted to use Corrosive, but I wasn't sure if it was going to work. And it work, worked pretty well uh, without me armor stripping, just using a Zara until level 2k. And after that, to make it faster and then just keeping it comfortable, I was priming and using uh, Zara's Whisper. I thought at some point on making a Hidden Herod build and also made a viral one. But I was like, I think this is going to be too much of an overkill because I'm already going to be using Zara's Whisper because Zara's Whisper... I just feel like it's, it's the ability that increases the damage for this weapon the most. Like the absolute most. Because it allows the same projectile to hit the target a second time. I don't think it can hit more than that. And so that is already amazing. And not only that, it's more than doubling the damage. More than doubling the damage. Uh, and so seeing all of that, I thought like, this has to work with corrosive and it did work so mission accomplished for me i would say the the build uh, has fulfilled its purpose and that is for me a win i had a contagion saw which is the basic thing that i use uh, again this was much easier than the protea one i didn't have to to use the contagion as much uh, yeah, I really only armor shipped when things on normal kills when things went like super crazy, like the last demolisher that I, I had the clip on. That was really crazy. Use finishers a couple times. Out of sight, you can see an action a lot, but for energy not as needed. Auto breach. <laughs> Barely used. I actually used Jin, and why is that? 
I was actually breeding a Kubro. Not breeding, raising. What's even a... What's even the name of it? Incubating? Yeah, I was doing some Kubro breeding and I couldn't take a, uh, a companion with me. So I had to take a Sentinel and the only thing that can barely survive is Jin. Uh, mm, it's good to have a uh, Prime Animal Instinct, but I think you can probably use, yeah, it's Companion, Regen, Reawaken, that, yep, that was about it. Nothing too crazy, but because I'm using a Invisible Frame, he was just uh, not attacking while I was invisible. Uh, and that is really frustrating, <laughs> but it, it is what it is. I had his Hellstrom build for Corrosive and Cold. I have to put some more Forma, which when he was using, you could you could definitely notice the, the Cold procs. So it could have been good. Maybe with the Sentinel or a Companion rework that we're going to see, this is going to turn out better. And yeah. I kept my specters there and everything, and it was pretty smooth. Uh, it was a pretty enjoyable run. I like, I think, the frame I like the most for going to level caps is Ash. I feel like going visible or using visible frames is just on a, a satisfying level of difficulty, I would say. Uh, it's not the hardest one. It is just what I, I got comfortable the most using. It's Ash. Uh, other than that, also really good to use is Rhino and Harrow. They're pretty good to to use. Rhino should be even better now that uh, the Overguard changes and stuff. But yeah, that was the run. It was pretty fun. Leave a like, subscribe. Peace.